Hey, welcome back. Today's video is a review of Bella Belle Nail Couture. This is an Australian nail polish brand that I came across online, hadn't heard a thing about it and was kind of intrigued by it. So I went ahead and placed an order. I got four colors. I got Merlot, Olive, you're about to see a theme here, Mint Leaf, and Trees of Green. Can you tell I like green? So this came with a cute little message in the package as well as well, along with the bag and an orange wood stick. So a bit about this brand, they are based in Melbourne. Um, they are vegan, cruelty free, five free, which means they're free of five regular toxins that are in nail polishes. They do only ship to Australia, but they have a flat shipping rate of about $10, which is pretty standard these days. That's just Australia Post's standard shipping rate. So this is the color Merlot. I've already swatched all of these. Olive. Trees of green. I did not get the red roses too. <laughs> I kind of wish I had though. <laughs> and mint leaf. So today I'm going to test out two of them on my nails on my left hand. I'm going to do those two and push all the others to the side. I do have two clear dips of dip powder on my left hand just to keep my nails strong. But other than that, there's nothing on the nails. I'm putting the nail polish straight on them. So they do sell packs of nail polish as well as a base and top coat. I just have a million of those already so I didn't go ahead and, and buy any of those just because I don't need 7,000 of them. So these polishes have 11 mils in them and they're $10 each um, as in standard price. You can buy them in a pack like I said but honestly I think that's a pretty good deal. The packaging was amazing. The application was really nice. I found them to be smooth. There was no bumps in it. The brush helped to apply it so smoothly. The consistency of all the nail polishes were the same and wonderful. Um, the color payoff was pretty good. The paler shades like Mint Leaf may need a third coat, but I think that is also outlined on the website, which I will link below. The only downside I had with this nail polish, and it's really not an issue for me, is drying time. It did take quite a while. However, if you're anything like me, I actually do my nails while I'm watching a movie or editing and <laughs> doing things. So I usually leave them to dry for about half an hour anyway, just in between coats, especially if I decide to go in with a gel top coat, which I didn't do on this occasion. So I'm just finishing up the first coat. I only did two of each of these and a top coat and we'll see how it goes. The shimmery colour Trees of Green didn't dry as quickly as the cream shade, but honestly, like I said before, not an issue unless you're me who has a tendency to smack their middle finger into things, so I have dented it a bit, but it's actually cleared up pretty well on the second coat and you couldn't even notice it by the time I put the top coat on. So there we go, two layers, colour payoff's amazing, and then I just went in with my Essie gel couture top coat. This is just a regular top coat that appears like gel.
go. That's the finished nails. Overall, I really, really love these nail polishes. I thought they were fantastic. You got extra bonus points for having a shade called House of Serenity. And overall, absolutely love them. Would buy again. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider giving me a subscribe. See you next time.